welcome to my channel. My name is Chai Nute. Chai like the latte, Nute like Nute. I don't know. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell to hit get notifications three times a week where I post videos three times a week. I know, I'm still like coming into terms of posting three times a week because out of like five years of making YouTube videos, I've never posted three times a week. So today I'm going to show you how to get, how to look good in five minutes. All right. Now the trick is to spend less time doing things that take the longest. All right. And I do have some lash extensions. They're not as full as they were before. They've some of them have fallen out, but they're still there. So yeah, let's get started. I have my magic basket here with the tag IKEA IKEA tag. I should really take this off. I hate when these strings are. Oh, I'm strong. I'm sitting on my sofa. The lighting isn't as bright because I'm not smack in the middle of my window, but I kind of like it. How do you guys like this lighting? I'm really feeling it. It's really, um, it looks true to me. Like sometimes I feel like the light can really drown me out. My entire living room, this is my comfy spot. I just sit here, my TV's right over there. I watch some Netflix and I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. So I think this is gonna be my new filming spot. But anyways, let me know if you like this new lighting. I like it. The only thing is the side of my face looks brighter than this side because the window is right here. But five minute face, the first thing I want to do is make sure that my face is very moisturized. I applied this um, oil free moisturizer by Nivea and it's the Ocean Algae in Hydra IQ. There's no SPF in this, but they also have some really rich moisturizing ones that do have SPF in it that I use every day and they've sent me enough for it to cover me for the rest of the year. So. I've been loving, I've been loving these. Um, so I put some of that on, and then the next thing I do is I look at the time and I go, oh, I have five minutes to get ready. Because I take a primer, and I really like this milk primer, because it is a blur stick, it really blurs out my skin, it fills out my pores, but it also is so easy to apply, it's like a balm. It looks like a deodorant, really. And you just kind of drag it on your face. And I like to use this on the T-zone area. And you're done. Like how quick was that, right? You want to use products that are easy to apply and that are just quick with it. Honestly and true, honestly, truly. I don't correct because there's no time to correct and every time you correct, you have to overcompensate with concealer to cover up the corrector. It's weird uh, because even though it's meant to correct, correcting does add a color to your, your skin and it does counteract, but it only works when you use full coverage or like medium to full coverage. So I don't usually correct, but maybe I will because I feel like this eye has a bigger dark circle than the other eye. Maybe just a little bit like that, okay? Oh, shoot! Like that, just a little. Corners of my mouth. Okay, maybe just everywhere. Okay, might as well just do the full door. Amar comes into the room and goes, Why aren't you ready? You're supposed to be ready, we're gonna be late! And I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, give me five minutes. Oh, you did that, alright? You look like you got punched, but it's okay. It's not as hard as it usually is. Next, I go in with a tinted moisturizer. And I mix the Nip and Fab, I love this combination. I mix the MAC um, Face and Body Foundation and the Nip and Fab Foundation in the number 40. They're, they're kind of, they look the same, first of all. <laughs> Secondly, the formula is very similar. Um, when I wear this, this is de dewy and sheer. This is more thicker, but it still is quite sheer. I don't know, they just really work together. I don't know if it's in my head because the packaging looks the same. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but let's just, let's just work with it. Start off with my face and body. Tilt my head back, because you don't want it dripping everywhere. Draw lines. Foundation is actually quite moisturizing. Okay, you have those lines on. This is actually quite, you guys gotta be careful when you like drip it onto your face because every time I drip it on and my head's not tilted back, it just drips all over my shirt and then I ruin my outfit. And I'm gonna go in with the Nip and Fab. I'm gonna use a lot less. A little on my forehead. I'm gonna take a brush. The brush, spreading this out with a brush is the quickest way to be honest. Okay, I'm fully aware. <laughs> I'm fully aware that it's quite streaky, but the key is to really save time. Um, instead of going in, blending, going in, blending, I like to just put it onto my face and blend it all together. I'm gonna go in contour and I'm gonna use my um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut. What is the one everyone use? Oh, Beautifully Bronze or something? But this one works really well. Everything's gonna be streaky, but that's totally okay. I'm gonna go in with my damp beauty blender and just blend it all in together. Start off with my 
the center of my face. That was so quick, right? And then I like to just blend in my contour. You gotta work quick because this stuff dries quickly. You're literally just beating your face. Forehead, done. This side of my face, done. Um, Anti-aging dark circle eraser and I'm gonna twist and just just apply this to the inner corner and here and here I'm gonna go in with my Mac NC 42 concealer and I'm literally done I'm, I think I can scrape out a little more I'm just going to blend it in with the concealer use my finger melt the product into my face now because I'm talking and applying it's might take a little longer but if you're focused and you're not messing about and this should be a lot more s smoother for you I've blended everything in the next thing I'm gonna do is set so I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier powder and a fluffy brush and I'm going to pack it onto the lid take a fluffy brush roll it in make sure the brush is coated properly I'm just going to roll the blot <laughs> roll the brush onto my face. Focusing in areas that creep. Or you can also bounce the brush onto your face. Go in and add some warmth to my face. And I'm gonna be using the sleek uh, blush by three palette in Calypso Island Phoenix Sand and Coral Dune. And I'm gonna use Coral Dune. I love myself some coral, especially on a daily basis. That's like my main color that I go quickly. Apply this to the apples of my cheeks, dragging upwards. I'm gonna take that same powder brush and just blend it in because I was a little heavy. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take my brush and go in with the Calypso Island. And now this is a really cool trick. I like to pinch the tip of my brush and lift my eyebrows and drag this down my crease. And you get instant eyeshadow, guys. I then go in with a fluffy brush and just blend out the edges. That took less than like two seconds. I'm not even kidding. Okay, now this is a recent discovery of mine and I've been using it ever since I've discovered it. Um, well, I didn't really discover it. It kind of discovered me, but <laughs> uh, this is the Bobbi Brown Desert Sun Glow Stick and it's an illuminating stick or illuminator stick. Guys, this makes me look so youthful. Now, you know how there's some highlighters that are shimmery? This is like a cream highlighter that adds like an iridescent wetness to your cheeks a bronzy color so this would be really good with um, medium to dark skin tones oh this would look beautiful on darker skin tones and I think they have a few lighter shades but the consistency and the formula of this I freaking love so much it's probably it's definitely in my July favorites just has has this glow now what I like to do is just dab it onto my cheekbones and right under my brow, like that, I take my finger and just blend that in. And it can look just so, so glowy and dewy and just wrinkle free. <laughs> I love this stuff so much. Look at that. It's not a shimmer. It's like a, it's like a natural wet glow. It's a glow. Honestly, Bobbi Brown, thank you so much. Buy some highlight. This is the Too Faced highlight in Too Faced Love Light highlight in Blinded by the Light. And just use just a little bit and set the creamy, glowy stick, glow stick that we used. And it gives you this. I love this stuff so much. Take the same highlight and just apply some right on the center of your eyelid. Take your finger and just lightly blend that out. You're gonna want to apply some mascara, but since I already have some lash extensions on, I'm gonna skip the mascara part and I'm gonna skip the lashes part. But um, a really good lash that I really love is the Ardell Demi Wispies. They're affordable and they just look so natural on your eyes. And also for mascara, my current favorite mascara is the Lancome Hypnose Mascara. Oh, I love this stuff so much. Moving on to my brows. First thing I like to do is take a spoolie and brush them up 
I'm gonna take Anastasia's Brow Wiz in medium brown and just fill in the sparse areas. When I brush them up, it makes it a lot easier for me to see what areas I need to fill in. I like to focus on the ends first and then go in. Because if you have the ends filled out and you don't have the beginning, the, the center filled out, it looks like a natural brow. But when you have the, the center filled out and you don't have the ends filled out, you look angry. <laughs> you, this definitely gives you the natural look and it saves you some time as well. So you can go in with the ends and if you feel like you need to go in in the center and in the front, you go in just a little bit. But if you don't feel like it and you like the way that looks and how natural that looks, you can stop where you're at and save you some time. And it also saves you some time. A nice trick I like to do is I like to take the brow wiz and just shape the bottom section of the front of my eye eyebrows and then work it in like that. And because the bottom is shaped, it automatically gives you the illusion of cleaned up brows. I like to take the spoolie section and just comb it upwards. So whatever product I had on the bottom, it kind of diffuses it back into the top or the midsection of the brow. And that's it. That's how I've been liking my brows lately. Onto my lips, I'm just going to take this nude lip liner by Sephora by the Silk Fork Collection and this is in the shade Creme de la Creme. Take this Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Ashton and this is my favorite lipstick, li liquid lipstick by them. I'm going to take this eyeliner. This eyeliner is actually from Primark and I actually love it. I'm going to pop this right on my waterline just to create the illusion of more fresher eyes. Now to set my face, I'm gonna take this NYX Matte Finish uh, Setter Skin Long Lasting Setting Spray and I'm just gonna mist this down the center of my face. That same blush that we applied on our crease and a small, small eyeshadow brush and just drag this down my lower lash line. And there you have it guys, how to get ready in five minutes, sort of. <laughs> if you are a beginner, it may take you 10, 15 minutes to do this, but if you are someone who knows how to work with makeup, this should definitely be a five minute makeup look. Let me know what other videos you'd like me to do, any other suggestions or any other creative videos. I'm open to anything. So comment down below and hit me up with what you'd like me to do. Thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification to get notified when I upload videos. Yay! Love you. See you on my next post. Mwah. Bye.